It's 8 a.m. from Fox 35. This is Good Day Orlando. It is 8 o'clock here on your Friday morning. Good day, Orlando. I'm John Brown. I'm Amy Coffin. So happy you're with us this morning. And here are the stories we're working on for you right now. More women are delaying having children to pursue their careers, right? But many want to make sure that they can still be a mom later in life. So we're going to talk to a fertility doctor about a new trend, counting eggs. How that works hmm. is coming up. In our Health Watch, some fertility doctors say they have seen an increase in female patients who want to get their eggs counted. Many women are delaying parenthood because of careers or many other reasons. So many of them want to make sure that they can still have children later in life. And joining us this morning to talk about it is our good friend and fertility doctor, Mark Trollis. Great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Oh, anytime, Amy. You know that. All right. So here's the question. Is it the number of eggs or is it the quality of the eggs? That's definitely a huge question. First thing, what is ovarian aging? Okay. Every woman wants to know that. What is it all about ovarian aging? Is it the number of eggs? Is it the quality of eggs? Or is it, can I get pregnant? There is no good test to be able to do that. Okay. But this recent information about uh, protecting a woman's fertility, not waiting too long. All the women ask me, you know, when should I start trying to get pregnant and when is too late? That's what you can get out of this recent study. Okay. Is that don't wait too long. Fertility starts declining in the early 30s and then it's just going to continue thereafter. But this is not new. And I'm a little bit disappointed over this because counting eggs by ultrasound, we've been doing for over 10 years. Yeah. The ovarian age hormone test called anti-malarian hormone, we've been using for over 10 years. So... My concern here is that it's preying on infertility patients or women who want to get pregnant and it's exploiting their fears, okay? The worst thing that you can do is take a low-risk population, women in their 30s, right. okay, in 20s and 30s, and start doing ovarian age testing because the ability to take that information and predict live birth is just not there. Right. So we gain nothing from testing well, these sure. women. Sure, I get your point. So it's great you have the information, but that's not like that's going to help you get pregnant. I mean, you're, you're still going to have the same odds, right? Well, the older a woman gets, if the ovarian age testing is poor, then you probably want to turn it up a notch and get a little bit more aggressive. Okay. But in women who are less than 35 and who have uh, no reason to suspect that they have a problem, no reason to test these patients. Okay. Who should you test? Women who have risk factors, uh, chemotherapy and radiation for histories of cancer, prolonged cigarette smoking. The, my other gripe about this whole thing is, is dangling the baby carrot in front of these women, mm -hmm. okay? Egg freezing. Well, egg freezing, statistics are saying maybe about 24% chance of pregnancy when you do egg freezing. And they're saying, well, it's an insurance policy. Would you take out an insurance policy on a car, okay, <laughs> and, and if, you get, if you get into an accident, reimbursement only about 24%? I think not. So egg freezing is not meant to protect the woman's fertility. It's an option, but it's not uh, very successful. Right. Right. At least at this point, who is it good for? Cancer patients. Mm. If they're going to be getting immediate chemotherapy and radiation and they want to do something to try to protect their fertility, then you can try to freeze their eggs. But even those patients still have a good chance, the younger they are, of maintaining their fertility even without uh, egg freezing, using some hormone therapy. So I, I, I beg my colleagues, don't exploit the fears of women who want to have a baby. What do you do? You educate them and say, hey, don't wait too long. Long, but to spend ten to fifteen thousand dollars on something that's not a guarantee, I think you're, you're just preying on these women who, right. who are worried about their fertility. Right. Education is the key. Absolutely, it really is, Dr. Charles. You're the best. How can our viewers uh, find you? Reach out to you. Thank you, Amy. Well, a, a great site for us now. We have a big social media site. It's called theivfcenter.com. Very nice. He's the best. All right, eight twenty-six right now. Thanks, Dr. Charles, for coming in this morning. John, over to you.